we're gonna play Hulk Ultimate Destruction. But first, I wanted to uh, try out these snacks I've been hoarding for a while. Hulk Cake Bites. Shows you what's in it. Gamma sprinkles, green frosting, colorful vanilla, and apple jelly, which is weird. If anyone watches uh, Review Bra, or uh, Food Review of the Week, um, running on empty, food review. <laughs> this is my version of that. Shoutouts to Review Bra. Yeah, they come in these like fancy, fancy wrapper. So I guess my like purchasing history got uh, uploaded to the mainframe or whatever because I saw an ad for these on Twitter, and it's like the exact same cake, but they have like Mandalorian on the front, so it doesn't really make sense. I guess Grogu's green, so. But yeah, anyway. You get like three of them. This is great for birthdays. Never had a Hulk birthday. Yeah, they still got Hulk hands. <laughs> I need to get some Hulk hands. Yeah, they're like kind of old, so they're a little dry, but um, the apple jelly is pretty good. Oh yeah, I got new glasses today. So yeah, let me do the line. Let's see Paul Allen's car. <laughs> Always been a huge American Psycho fan. So. Shout out to Christian Bale. Press it twice. There's a thin line between good and bad. I walk that between line every hate. single day. When I stray from it, people die. Oh, man. My name is Bruce Banner, and this is me. I'm not a person anymore. Probably wondering how I'm I got here. Hope. I did this to myself. All in the name of science. This is me and all that I've become. I'm a big green time bomb. Oh shit. And I'm ticking. Welcome to the Hulk Survivor Program. Oh, in this series of exercises, you will approximate Hulk's basic abilities. The implication being See, I was capturing at 60 frames combat, the last couple videos. You will have the advantage of knowing and that's why, like, my laptop was ready to explode. Experience. And I was getting, like, a lot of frame drops in the Hulk last couple videos. Hulk excels at destruction. So. Try running into various obstacles here to get Just a sense the of the creature's power. While this is merely a virtual representation of the beast, be reminded that Hulk is actually capable of most feats demonstrated here. Another example of Hulk's immense strength, he seems capable of picking up virtually any object in his path. Approach any object and press the grab oh, throw control to lift it. Damn. Kick the shit out. So on the right stick, if you move it right, he goes left. And then the camera turns left. It's a little disorienting. Okay. 
His ass seems ass. Pressing the special button right, will activate cool. Hulk's more advanced techniques, unleashing everything he's got. These will often launch or stun anyone. As with Hulk's other techniques, holding the button will increase the power of each technique. Who's <laughs> this is guy? Hulk? Morgan Freeman? important you research Hulk's various combat abilities. He's not only powerful, but extremely fast. When in close, do not hesitate against him. Fight to win. Consult your field manual for a complete list of Hulk's known combat techniques. It's kind of how he jumps around in the, in the Ang Lee movie. But yeah, so the reason that I wanted to play this was I was kind of bur <laughs> I was kind of butt hurt by like um, not that I was upset that Ant Man was like so poorly received. So I don't give a fuck, but like the fact that Modok was like just turned into a joke really uh, made me nostalgic for the early MCU stuff. So I watched Incredible Hulk from 2008, uh, a couple nights ago, so I wanted to talk about it. And by joke, I mean like, it's very clear now that like, the people that are writing the MCU shit, uh, don't give a fuck about the source material and probably like think it's stupid, <laughs> you know? Like working at Marvel is like a means to an end. But yeah, the state of the Hulk is pretty bad, that's for sure. Um, well, we can grab him. <laughs> like I always thought, uh, as someone that's dealt with like anger issues in, in my life, and he's pretty relatable. And just as a kid, like uh, in the way that like uh, trading cards like got me into like sports and stuff, like, toys definitely got me into comic book characters. And uh, like the earliest Hulk toy I remember was the the Toy Biz one. Uh, I forget what specific line but he has like the crowbar that he bends in his hand <laughs> and so yeah I always thought the Hulk was really cool damn slap John Murphy one of the five fingers set in the face slap oh. <laughs> uh, am I supposed to go somewhere Oh shit. The blade keeps going forward. Uh, but what was I saying? Uh, fuck. The incredible Hulk. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about the state of the Hulk with... I feel like ever since, uh... Infinity War, when he like... Goes out like a bitch against Thanos and never comes back. And then when he does come back, he's bitch ass smart Hulk. Uh, yeah, that was like just really shitty. And then She Hulk, which. Uh, I always thought that, or I've always said that I want to get a She Hulk tattoo at some point for a long time because I was always. Uh, like speaking of trading cards, the oh, he blasted me. That's a shit. The Marvel Select was it Tim Hildebrand or whatever? Uh, there's a card of She-Hulk where she's like 
on the beach lifting weights, and the other dudes are like, whoa, what the fuck, like Venice Beach or something. And uh, I know, that artwork always just stuck with me. And then I always loved the fact that she was in Fantastic Four. That, like, uh, sparked my imagination as a kid. I always thought that was cool. <laughs> yeah, the show was fucked up. It's not the worst thing in the world, but like at moments, at Sir, their times like this. Guns. Oh, damn! He backhanded me. Once the beast has located a perceived threat, like the first episode, he will launch like, objects with no regard for human get away life. With it. That Tap or hold the designated in, grab throw really button fucking awful. to launch an object at and your like, target. She's like putting Bruce down and shit. And like, you know, I'm better. Which, whatever, that's fine. Like, I can deal with all that. She looks okay sometimes, and other times it looks fucked up. Oh. I wish they'd gotten. There's this chick, uh, Rania M. Dolly. They totally should have got like a buff chick to just be a Shiva. And they do that in the show where like they kind of mimic the, the TV show from the 70s. She's not meant to be hot. She's meant to be like. It should be ugly, noted that Hulk frequently uses heavy objects as missiles. Which I don't think These can the be point. thrown with devastating power and accuracy. For targets at great distances, pressing yeah, and holding the, only cool the grab part about the show button Daredevil will hit targets <laughs> at greater distances. And like they kind of tease like that, that hallway fight or whatever that he has. Uh, it's so pretty sweet. Especially compared to the movie, which, you know, like I said, I just watched. So, yeah. Um, you can jump with holding stuff. Chicks on the back. back on the right stick. Uh, but yeah, the Incredible Hulk movie from 08, I was surprised that it came out like right after Iron Man, like a month after or something. I remember at the time they always said like, oh, this shit wasn't planned. Everything was had to have been planned up until Avengers, at least. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, 
Die, starring Edward Norton, who's awesome. I remember uh, Primal Fear as a kid was one of my favorite, favorite movies. Or like you think he's like, <laughs> you know, this unassuming guy, and he's like the actual bad guy. Spoilers. And uh, and of course Fight Club is awesome. So yeah, even though he wasn't like a huge, huge star. Like, neither was Robert Downey Jr. Um, oh. But he certainly had, like, cachet enough to, like, have some input into script. I guess that's what Press they said, that why, the that's why he didn't to approximate come back. Hulk's ability to climb uh, sheer surfaces. Because he wanted, like, Try kept changing now. the script and, like, it was difficult to work with. He's just one of those kind of actors, so that's what you deal with. At the end of the day, it was probably like money. I was walking to a wall and press B. Oh shit. Why wouldn't I just run up like I just did? Run up on. I think Edward Norton's great. I remember wondering like how he would interact with Tony Stark. And, and honestly, I feel like Mark Ruffalo was the right guy for that movie. But I still would have rather seen Edward Norton. Walk into a wall and press. That's what I did. Collect all the markers. Oh. Who are these guys? Are they bad guys? Oh, oh shit. And, uh, Liv Tyler's Betty Ross. And yeah, the movie starts out with, like, like I said, it evokes the 70s show, with, like, the laser and design and shit. And, like, uh, Betty Banner's in the... Like, Betty Ross is in, uh, like, a hospital. I guess she's in a coma or something. Because oh probably when he freaked out or whatever. And uh, it reminded me of the issue. I used to have this kind of... I was looking for it, and I guess I don't have it anymore. Uh, but the issue where... Uh, where she dies... That was, like, when I was really into uh, reading Hulk. Gotta get used to controlling. <sighs> um, but yeah, that comic, uh, it's cool because like she's in a coma. Her head she's having like flashbacks to like I guess she wrote a book or she's writing in her journal about her times with Hulk and uh, pick up on this impact. And there's a sequence in the movie where she hangs out with Hulk in a cave and it, it kind of reminds me of that No way! 
Oh shit, he's throwing missiles. school when I found out like uh, Wolverine's first appearance was in Hulk that like blew my mind tells, you know, Bruce to get the fuck out. Play by him. Oh, shit, what's his name? Uh, uh, it's played by William Hurt, who actually was always my pick to play Mr. Fantastic. I always wanted to play him. I love Fantastic Four, and there's no way they're gonna, like, do that shit justice. <laughs> Cause yeah, like I was saying earlier about uh, the people doing Marvel are like openly mocking. And uh, there's a not to take another example from later on in the movie, but uh, there's a part where uh, oh yeah, there's another scene right after that cave scene where they're in a hotel and uh, she went out to like get uh, Edward Norton some clothes <laughs> and she gives him these like purple shorts that are like you know, like the comic accurate shorts and you know she's like this is the stretchiest pair and he's like nah <laughs> you know no thanks uh, to me that's a great example of the early MCU stuff poking fun at the source material but not openly mocking it. Like, showing Modoc's little ass. <laughs> see, I do want to talk about Ant-Man uh, whenever I actually see it, but I, I did that reaction, and I was like, I know I said that, like, I'd get turned turned up about seeing Modoc's face, and uh, and I knew it was going to be... Hulk's primary method jacket, of movement is his ability to leap long distances. Even his face would look. Even his smaller jumps and are considered impossible yeah. by most standards. Obviously, it follow looks the like instructions shit. on your display <laughs> to familiarize yourself with Dude, this phenomenon. The MCU done Jack Kirby dirty. Uh, with the exception, of, like maybe Thanos. Yeah, the reason that I was so bummed about Modoc is because he feels like one of the last cool like villain things that you'd want to see done on live action. Like, yeah, it's gonna be cool to see X Men again, but we've seen that on live action, you know. So, uh, but yeah. So anyway. Edward Norton is chilling in uh, in Brazil. Brazil. I remember in interviews he said himself that he was inspired by the TV show. You can't touch them until they turn blue. Oh, okay. The blue one tells you what's next. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, and he's working in like a bottling plant. And uh, he's like, uh, like when he's at home, he's texting this guy, Mr. Blue or whatever, about like trying to heal himself. And uh, yeah, he works at this bottling plant. And there's a uh, Chiquitas Bonitas there. <laughs> and uh, like this, like. Like ugly Brazilian dude, and he's like Once hitting on, her, has on the girl or an object, the and creature will to, frequently manipulate to it to fashion a makeshift and, uh, weapon, uh, such as a missile or battering ram. Oh. A favorite ploy, often the referred to like, as the steel gringo. fist technique, <laughs> is to turn a vehicle and, uh, into a pair of metal and like, Press the special says button in Portuguese, to demonstrate this weaponization. Oh, oh. Weapons having no effect. <laughs> And he says, like, you wouldn't like me when I'm hungry. <laughs> Instead of angry, obviously, from the old show. Steel fist. comic book four. Whoa. Oh, I love that dude in the like um well I played it on the Dreamcast but the PS1 Spider-Man game. You collect all the comic book covers. Save. And yeah he's working in this bottling plant and uh he accidentally cuts himself in a little piece of blood falls into the bottle. Fucking neighbors. And, uh, he's like, oh shit. And, you know, he stops it. And he thinks he gets it. But then, like, the bottle goes by. And it's this huge blob of blood. Like, how did he miss that shit? And, uh, apparently, it ends up in Stan Lee's house. <laughs> and he Bruce, takes where the hell have you been? And oh, like, oh, I'm shit. getting some fresh air. Alright, listen to me. That was, uh, I intercepted a transmission coming out of Branson Military Base. Some spook named Blonsky's taking charge. They're planning a major foray in your direction as we speak. Oh, Blonsky. Bruce, he's requisitioned half the men and supplies on the base. They know you're out there and they're coming for you. I want you to come back into town and lay low for a while. You're in real danger out there. Len, if I came into town, everyone would be in danger. Bruce, as your doctor, I'm urging you to reconsider. Your health's deteriorating by the hour. You're not going to find a cure for the Hulk out there by yourself. Hey, you worry too much. He Nobody knows, knows I'm here. Hello, Dr. Banner. I've waited a long time to make your acquaintance. But yeah, so anyway, since, um... Got to the Send a warning man. shot That's his him. way, General. Uh, if Banner's shield, in there, like, I want to get the point quickly. Yeah. Don't be like ridiculous, Blonsky. So like, uh, we give away our position. <sighs> they need to go to Brazil. Corporal, go send him. in a fire team. And, uh, one round towards the outhouse. That's where by he, the West Blonsky comes in. And he's like this 
badass soldier or whatever, Alpha like Russian born. <laughs> It's Tim Roth, he's awesome. And it's cool because when they finally catch up to him and he transforms for the first time, they actually try and like make it kind of scary. Hulk has taken damage. And the Hulk in this movie looks badass. Like, compared to later on where they had to make it look like fucking Mark Ruffalo's face. You know, because he wanted, he thinks he's Andy Serkis, so he needs his face and everything. But like, I was going to show this earlier, the difference between this movie Hulk is like, this Hulk versus bitch ass smart Hulk. <laughs> Even though as a kid I thought Smart Coke was uh, was cool. Like um, reading Infinity War and Gauntlet. And what was Crusade was the other one. Uh, I don't know if there was more, but like, those are all the ones I would read that came out around that time. And because uh, you'd think, oh, Smart Hulk, you're smart and you're strong, so. But not as strong. Because the thing about Hulk is he actually gets physically bigger the angrier he gets. shit at all the soldiers and gets away. After that little encounter, then uh, Thunderbolt Ross takes Blonsky to like this uh, like, military facility, and he basically tells him you want to get like uh, juiced up. And I guess Blonsky is supposed to be like, yeah, I want to do whatever I can to be uh, ultimate soldier. walk into this little cold storage area and uh, it's like a big you know metal canister and it says uh, Dr. Ramstein Ramstein <laughs> Ramstein and it's it's the name that Erskine uses that's like an alias uh, Dr. Erskine who made the super soldier serum from Captain America so you know they were planting the seeds already which was nice. Oh yeah, because Ross is like, there's one serum that was promising. Uh, so yeah, he gets juiced up and then Banner goes this to uh, 
the college or whatever. I hope you're satisfied, Blonsky. The Hulk got away. He'll turn up. again. He's a freak. And, <laughs> and like, there's a scene one. where they go to this pizza place, I guess, that's Banner like, left behind. where they used to hang out there. when they were going to school. Or I want that bio container before and, it's uh, destroyed. Like this old man runs Careful, it. And so, uh, you have no idea what you're playing with. I have a job so, like, to do, uh, General. Bruce Banner shows left up his and toys he's in the like, playground, and I'm not about uh, to watch them burn. It's like, I need help. Uh, the old man's like, <laughs> uh, anything I can do for you? And he's like, yeah, there's one thing. And he wants to like, dress up like a pizza man and uh, to like get into the school because he has to use their computers to find out the uh, find like the research from the, the Hulk experiments or whatever the weather alert will he breaks with into the school in uh, Lou Ferrigno is the security guard which is cool he gives him a pizza and I was like, God bless your brother. They took the machine from uh, me. So that was cool. It was the only chance then, I uh, had. He goes like upstairs I didn't to have any world to go. And, okay, follow uh, me. Martin quickly. Starr is in there. He's like a You student. should have come here sooner, Bruce. Look, he I doesn't know. Have any lines, I'm but sorry. They just cut to him a the sickness times. is getting worse. Well, I think uh, the Hulk's trying to break away from me. And like, I don't know how long I'll be able to contain the planet. It's far from completion. But it's a start. With your expertise, Adam, we can get into your neural generators and, then, and figure uh, out what triggers the beast. Not with this kind of processing power. So yeah, I mean, he like gets the data. How are we going to equip it? I already um, thought of that. Here, put this on. And then, what is it? Like when he Think comes back to the pizza place, uh, Liv Tyler's there with her new, her new boyfriend. Uh, it's that guy, Ty Burrell. Uh, I'm trying to think. I know he was in. Uh, Dawn of the Dead remake and I don't know some other show that's popular but he plays Doc Sampson the guy with the green hair but I don't think they ever say his name nothing I'm aware of but yeah she comes into the pizza place and it's, it's fucked up, because as someone who worked in a pizza place, the old man's like, dude, all I got's marinara sauce. And she's like, come on, make me a fucking pizza. He's like, damn. She's a Karen. What is this shit? Blonsky. Blonsky exhibits a profound hatred of all gamma irradiated creatures. You're looking at a 3D yeah, model and then of a handheld Tyler, like, neural sees Edward interface. Norton in the background. It can perform read or write operations uh, directly and she just into leaves a patient's the dude, mind. Like telling the stupid in effect, story. <laughs> the device <laughs> force feeds up. mission objectives into your mind. Then, and then like, the next scene, it's like you into uh, the Hulk. Edward Norton's walking home. In I the know rain. it won't be pleasant, and but it's the only chance. I guess got. she knew what road he was gonna go down, cause like she she comes to meet him. But I was like, damn. So she like dropped that dude off, and then like. Went straight over to go find him. <laughs> that was fucked up. Uh, yeah, I thought they had some chemistry in the movie. Liv Tyler coming off Lord of the Rings. So she was still pretty bad. I think, aren't they gonna bring her back or something? And like Tim Blake Nelson too, who shows up later. Like, yeah, obviously Abomination already showed up. So it's weird, like, this movie is a huge factor in this new phase. They're already trying to hit the nostalgia button. This shit's like, what? Uh, 15 years old? That's it, something like that. Well, uh, but yeah, I might get, like, the sequence of events in, in wrong or whatever. But the point is, is like, he downloads the, the shit he needs. And then, uh, Thunderbolt Ross catches Wise and, like, shows up at the college. 
You find out later that it was Samson that snitched on him. Uh, it's funny. It's, it's another good joke in the movie where, like, uh, well, anyway, I don't want to skip ahead. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, Ross, like, um, meets up with him enter the church and uh this is like the big action set piece he's like running through like this glass tube or like this glass like breezeway what is this shit dashing straight whoa alright grab backhand you can buy shit Punt kick. Oh, the sonic clap. That's a classic move. X, Y, X. So your res respect by applying the back of your hand to the enemy's skull. <laughs> Fuck yeah. X, Y, X. Remember that. Save the rest. But yeah, he gets stuck in between two soldiers, like two groups of soldiers in the middle, and they throw like a canister of gas. And of course, Betty's there, and she gets like knocked over, no, uh, knocked over or whatever. And that's always what triggers him. She's like what powers him up, and also triggers his transformation. Uh, and it's a cool sequence. Like they have like these. Sonic, Sonic thrusters, or whatever that they shoot at. Oh. Like, that's how you stop the Hulk, or like you have to disorient him. And, uh, it's pretty cool, but he like made these like kind of like in the game where he lays like the shield around the propellers or whatever. He uses that to kind of shield it, oh. Oh. Uh, shield himself from the. Please. The pop -pop. Uh, yeah, he used this, this shield thing and throws it at one of the sonic blasters and he punches up the other one. And it's cool because Ross the whole time is like, fuck, keep bringing in this shit, bringing in that shit. Uh, he's like, bring in the gunship. And the, the ship like shoots missiles. But like, Betty's in the way. And uh... Are you supposed to kill the cops or what? It's like Spider-Man. What is this? Oh, this is a strip club. But yeah, anyway, like, he rescues her from the fire by, like, covering her up. Like Batman. And, uh, she faints or whatever. And that's when they have that cave scene. So, like, now they're split up. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot, he fights Blonsky hand-to-hand, -hand, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's like swiping at him, and Blonsky's fucking dodging. Uh, it's pretty cool. But then at the 
then Hulk, Hulk's like, fuck it, and Sparta kicks him. And he like, tumbles around and hits a tree. <laughs> We need to take a big like risk, Bruce. And broken. We're gonna use Pretty the Hulk cool. to help us build the machine through hypnotic implants and auto suggestion. It's gonna oh, take about 5,000 watts to run the equipment. And you want me to smash up the main grid? Just the relevant parts. I've identified three key substations that need to be taken out, but be careful. They're surrounded by high voltage Tesla fields. Oh, oh yeah, okay, so they're split up and um, one end, Blonsky is like healing and shit. Like, um, Ross comes in, he's like, oh fuck, he's all beat up and shit. But then when he walks away, like, Blonsky's hands moves. And then later on, he's like, back to normal. And he has this shitty line where he's like, Ross asks him, like, how are you feeling? And Blonsky's like, uh, pissed off and ready for round three or whatever. <laughs> And then, yeah, and then uh, Edward Norton and Liv Tyler have to go to New York to meet with Mr. Blue, who is Tim Blake Nelson. I like Tim Blake Nelson. It's kind of a weird performance. He's like kind of annoying. supposed to be smart and like interesting in a way I guess. Uh, it's okay, but basically he, he's gonna heal him from the whole shit. And when they first get to New York, they have that. There's another joke. It's kind of like a trailer joke. I think it was in the trailer. But uh, she's like, let's take the subway. And he's like, oh, you want me trapped in a tiny steel bubble with nowhere to go? With angry New Yorkers or some shit. And then they take a cab there, and he's like a fucked up cabbie. <laughs> Like, it's not her fault the jokes for her weren't that great, but I mean, she does okay. She does what she can. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so they strap Edward Norton to a table. And uh, they do the process or whatever to take the Hulk out of him. And then right when that happens, uh, they get attacked. They get attacked by Blonsky and shit. Cause it's weird. They show earlier in the like before this, like shield computers that are like picking up on the emails that Banner's sending. Uh, and then they give it to Ross, and I guess that's how he finds out where uh, Stearns is, Tim Blake Nelson. Which is weird, like, why does Ross have shield computers, but they just wanted to, like, tie some shit in. Destroy, destroy. Oh, he's got voices. Oh. 
its power reaches critical mass, its rage feeds its strength, giving it increased damage. Oh, critical mass. I have to activate it? After they take uh, Edward Norton away, Blonsky comes back and tells uh, Tim Blake Nelson to like give him the Hulk shit. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know what you already got in there. Uh, and then he like chokes him and picks him up and he's like, oh, I just need your consent. And then he brings him down closer and he's like, and you've given it <laughs> your informed consent. Uh, that was a cool little scene. And then he straps uh, Tim Roth to the table and puts the shit in him and he turns into abomination. And it's actually pretty, like, creepy, creepy looking. Uh, so it's a cool scene. And then. Uh, so he's like coming towards Tim Blake Nelson. He's like, uh, if you get on the table, <laughs> I'll we'll fix that right up. And he like hits him or whatever. And he has like a cut on his head. And you know he knocks into, I guess another jar. It's like this purple stuff. And uh, it like drips into his head, and his head starts bubbling and getting bigger. <laughs> and he has like a goofy smile. So he's essentially supposed to turn into the leader, which is like, I guess pretty much Hulk's main, like, villain that's his villain. He's sort of the exact opposite, because he's like, got a giant brain. And yeah, supposedly he's coming back. And they're actually gonna do that, so that would be cool to see him again. Uh, yeah, apparently they filmed the scene where he actually becomes the leader. Like I guess he turns green, and shit. but either I don't know if that's true that they filmed it and they cut it, or if they cut it in the script process. But it was supposed to be in the movie, I guess. then yeah he becomes abomination and starts fucking shit up and they're uh, Edward Norton and Ross and Betty they're all in a they're on a helicopter watching abomination and uh, he's like I, you know I gotta take care of this ship and he like falls out of the, the ship I mean the helicopter and halfway through, he's like, oh, shit, because <laughs> he hasn't changed yet. And he just, like, slams into the ground. Um, but I guess he changed, like, right before he hit the ground or something. They've established later on in the MCU that he can't kill himself, so. Uh, and then he transforms, and then him and Abomination have a fight. Uh, and it's pretty cool. It ends up like going up into the rooftops, and uh, like uh, Ross comes through with the helicopter and he shoots him. And the pilot, the pilot, I mean the gunner's like, "Which one do I shoot?" He's like, "Shoot the green one." I mean, shoot the. I don't know what the fuck he says, but like they're both green.
Abomination gets uh, like a chain thing and like hits Hulk with it. Uh, and he hits like the helicopter first, I forgot to say that. And like uh, they're on the ground and he's about to set the helicopter on fire or whatever. And then right as it explodes, Hulk like, like claps it. <laughs> So the thing won't blow up. So I bet he won't explode. And then uh, he says, Hulk smash. And I was like, oh shit. I remember in the theater like getting turned up at that moment. And he does the ground pound. And it makes the ground rise. That's one of his classic moves. And uh, he's about to like choke out Abomination. But Betty's like, you know, chill or whatever. <laughs> And so he just like kicks him over to Ross and then takes off in the sky. Um, like a helicopter flashlight shows on him and he takes off. So it's like that cool ending like hero shot where they're moving around. They kind of did that with like Spider-Man and stuff. And then the final scene is him. He's in fucking uh, British Columbia, which got me hyped because I was like, oh fuck, Wolverine. Um, so he's like up in Canada and he's like meditating and he can like control his transformation now <clears throat> and then it immediately goes to the end credit scene and it's Ross in a bar and he's like taking shots it's kind of cheesy because he goes reload to give me the shot and then Tony Stark comes in and uh, it's pretty cool they have a nice little scene where he's like you know you got a problem it's like yeah you should talk and uh like you wear such nice suits <laughs> but he like he's like references like oh we're gonna start up a team and uh, whatever it's like it was just a nice little nice little tease but yeah I really enjoyed watching uh, the Hulk movie again uh, this game's cool too I want to play more when I'm not talking about a movie <laughs> pretty sick. I like throwing shit and backhanding the fucking popo. -po. It's pretty sick. <laughs>